Hi, welcome to TWR Facebook Live. So, uh, um, so th today again, same way, we're going to start with uh, two different sessions. First session with the uh, healing pain through meditation, part two, and then uh, we're going to take a few minutes break, and then we will do the uh, five wisdom teaching continue, uh, mirror-like wisdom today. And so, so first of all, uh, I hope you all hear me clear, see me clear. Um, wonderful. So just give me feedback so you all see me clear, hear me clear. Wonderful. So my question to all of you is again it's a, like a reminder so how meditation is going how the cyber sangha is supporting each other are you feeling supported enough by these continue continue teaching on the website or from cyber sangha from each other how is your pain physical pain emotional pain and I saw a number of wonderful feedback, so I'm happy to uh, see that. And in some sense, I think it's really important that because there are a lot of uh, people out there who might be watching this very moment and uh, thinking, how it's possible, you know, how it's possible that actual physical pain can be just clear by mental exercise or practice of mind. Um, so if you, if you genuinely feel the shift, change, healing, and you're giving feedback here, it's also at least, um, if it's not able to clear the doubt, people who are skeptics, but at least they will doubt it so that it's also a good start. So I, and therefore I would uh, strongly I request all of you who uh, give feedback here. And so, so basically last week we uh, started uh, with the wisdom, five wisdom, uh, wisdom of emptiness. And this today we are going to do teaching on wisdom of mirror-like wisdom. So I think before we go into it, I would like to start with the meditation. Um, all together so reason why we want to do meditation together i know most of you already know how to do the meditation uh, but this is like a, a continuous support for you a support we all supporting each other so so let's start with the meditation So those you know how to do the nine breathing or purification, please do that. And those you don't know how to do the nine breathing or purification, then take a five deep breathings and each exhalation, breathe it out. Any a sense of a blockages, effort, discomfort, and breathe, breathe in like more like a pure energy and each exhalation rest deeper into the stillness in your body rest deeper in your silence of your speech rest deeper into the spaciousness of your mind
So bring your full attention here and now, this place, in this moment, in this body. Bring your full attention and awareness in your body. When you bring your awareness in your body, it's like a, you are lightning, lightning a candle in a room. Your body is like a dark room, particularly when there is a pain and obscuration. When you bring your attention, open attention and awareness, it's, it's like illuminating, igniting, and feel that presence of light of awareness. And be aware that we are all supporting each other this moment as we do regularly. The sacred cyber sangha supporting each other. Be open to receive others' support and blessings and be open to give your support and blessings to others. Feel the connection. First, trying to fully rest in your body, speech, and mind. Being fully aware of the stillness in your body. Being, feeling fully present of your awareness in your body rest. Allow to fully rest. Be aware of any effort, conceptual, emotional, energetic, even subtle wind, effort of subtle wind. Be aware, breathe it out, and rest deeper, deeper, deeper in your body, in that stillness. And gradually rest deep into that inner stillness, the stillness of being, the stillness of the truth, the stillness of wisdom of emptiness. Rest deep into your speech in silence. By being aware of silence around and within you, feel it, hear it, be it, rest in it. If that is challenging, if you're hearing the noises of voices in your head, then listen to the silence like you're listening to that noises. Shift 
attention from to the noise to silence and rest in that silence. Be aware of all the efforts in your speech. Breathe it out. Rest deeper, deeper, deeper into that silence. Gradually rest deep in that inner silence, like the silence of that wisdom of emptiness, the silence of the base, the silence of the dharmadhatu, Third and the last, resting, resting in your mind. Be aware of the spaciousness of your mind. Like a crystal clear sky in the desert. Spacious, boundless, clear. Rest in that space, inner space. Be aware of any effort in that space discomfort in that space, breathe it out, those discomfort, blockages, effort, and rest deep into that inner sacred space. Inner sacred space, when you are aware of that, that is like a wisdom of emptiness, being aware of that unbounded, sacred inner space. Continue whichever door is familiar for you or make more sense and experiences easy. Either it's a body, speech, mind, which means stillness, silence, spaciousness, Choose one, rest deeper, deeper, and each breathing out, excel any, recognize and being aware of, be aware of effort. As we listen to the mantra of Salavu. And know that Salavu mantra is the mantra of that space and awareness. Salavu, that's what it means. Clear light, the mantra of clear light. And feel that we are all connected and supporting each other.
Now gradually you can open your eye. And, and continuously feel the presence of the awareness in the area of your pain. The pain is result of pain identity manifesting in physical and material form, but it is connected, caused by the ignorance pain identity, the awareness, the light of awareness is like the medicine. When we bring that awareness into that area of body, the, the power of awareness, the power of that light heals the pain. Maintain your attention, open attention at the pain like mother who is bringing her open attention to the pain of child. She's open, she's aware, she's present, she's connected, she has a sense of care Your awareness, it's like a mother. The pain, it's like that child. That's one metaphor. Another example will be, give a spacious, luminous, warm hug. Spacious to clear, luminous to heal, a warmth to energize or recover, strengthen. And be aware of collective presence, support of Cyber Sangha. Continue. As uh, I will continue, so you can open eye or just now we slowly um, finish the session here, but that does not mean you have to finish the session of your practice. You continue trying to maintain the presence of that awareness, presence of that light of that awareness in the area of pain. As I will say a few more words, you continue as we will finish the session and uh, until we come back to the wisdom of mirror-like wisdom, you continue 
maintain meditating until the next session comes if you are able to stay continuously with the next session. Okay, so how is the meditation? So, uh, so go ahead and just give me a little feedback. Uh, how's, how are you doing uh, working with your pain, physical pain, how pain is doing, how the child is doing, how well the mother is taking care Are you continuously maintaining your awareness in that location? Just in a very simple uh, understanding, you know, like usually when we have a pain in our body or when we go through emotional pain or any kind of discomfort, we immediately look that discomfort, that challenge, pain, a physical pain, as something wrong. We, of course it's not something pleasant, but we don't have to label it something bad. But we do that, we're trying to suppress it, we're trying to dislike it, we're trying to ignore it, we're trying to change, elaborate into something else. Uh, so basically it's like a, imagine a baby is crying. Maybe the baby is hungry. Maybe baby needs to go to toilet. Maybe baby is uh, cold. Uh, whatever is happening into the child, uh, crying, child is a crying of discomfort and pain. And if the mother ignores it or ask baby to stop crying or mother puts a baby into one room and closes the room and walks into another room or mother, I don't know, or mother ignores it. We all know that is not the right thing to do for mother. What is the right thing to do for mother is to be there, be aware and see what is needed, at least hold it and uh, bring care, attention, love, and whatever is needed, address that. That is the proper way for, for mother to handle the child's pain. So it's not any different for us when we feel sick or when we feel emotional or physical pain we tend to ignore it, suppress it, avoid it, elaborate it. We do not have a good relationship to our pain. We do not have a good relationship to ourself to start with. When we do not have a good relationship to ourself, that is the beginning of the pain. When the pain arises, we do not have a good relationship to the pain, that is the guarantee to continue with the pain. Because if we believe, if we understand that the sickness and pain are a product of three root poisons and three root poisons is the product of ignorance, as in the teaching describes, maybe hold, hold detail energetically, maybe it's a very complicated, complex to understand, but at least we have some good sense about maybe there, there is a truth in it. And if you, I would encourage everybody to also look at in your own case, either is a sickness or pain, physical, emotional pain, how this is rooted to three root poison and how this three, rooted, three root poison is connected to ignorance. 
which means how these all are connected back to a pain identity, perception of pain identity, how you identify yourself. Somebody who is unhappy, a professional person, an unhappy lawyer for the last 25 years, unhappy a doctor for the last 15 years, unhappy whatever label of professional you put there, unhappy identity of that profession for all these years, or unhappy identity of husband for all these years, and unhappy a wife, this matter, for all these years, unhappy father, sister, teacher, professor, whatever, label it, either is something professional or family or, or certification degrees that you have earned. But the label which is stuck with you as a block, not as an opportunity and or as a benefit, but as, as more like a problem. And that identity is kind of cause for your sickness, your pain. And if you, not during the meditation, but when you are not meditating, when you are walking, when you're sitting in a cafe or something, when you have a moment where you're waiting for somebody or something, when you're annoyed by waiting for something and somebody, then that, those are a good moment to think about, reflect on these situations. So when, if you reflect on these situations, you might see that actually there is a clear relationship and a link to your well health and these pain identity. That in one of the things I said earlier, the pain is clearly a product of drain. Pain is productly product of, I say pain is clearly a product of a draining, a draining our life. And whichever way, I don't know, you, you look at yourself, how you drain yourself. So many different ways we drain ourselves. For example, as simple as you're waiting for somebody to be happy. You're waiting for somebody to apologize. You're waiting for somebody to change. We're waiting for somebody to be good. We're waiting for somebody to be quiet. You're waiting for somebody to change and not realizing that is preventing your own transformations, that weight. And that weight is actually draining you. And that drain is actually producing a physical and emotional pain. As simple as that. So I would encourage all of you to reflect on that. So as I will take a little break, five minute break, I, I encourage all of you to continuously rest in the meditation and continuously heal that pain. And, and those you want, you can also continuously uh, give me feedback. And I, as I come back in five minutes, we will talk about mirror of wisdom and how also the same way, how this uh, mirror, of, uh, mirror of wisdom uh, connected to our pain also, okay?